Hey everyone, Asa here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up, run, and use Optimizely Agent to deploy feature flags in a microservice environment. But first, we need some microservices. So navigate to link.optimizely.com slash microservice feature flags and follow the instructions to set up two microservices. The first one is a JavaScript service, and the second one is a Python service. I'll do that right now. Boom, if everything went well with the instructions, you should now have a JavaScript service running at localhost 3001 and a Python service running at localhost 3002. This is now a good time to go ahead and create an Optimizely account and create a feature flag so we can control this message on both of the services. I'm already signed into my Optimizely account, so I'll go to features and click create new feature with the name Hello World. Great, now we need to connect our two microservices to our Hello World feature flag. We're going to do that by following the instructions to set up and run Optimizely Agent. The prerequisites are to install Golang, but otherwise the first step is to clone the Optimizely Agent repository. Nice, the next step is to change to the newly created agent directory, call make setup to set up the Optimizely Agent, and make run to run Optimizely Agent. Open up a browser to localhost 8080 and see Optimizely's awesome text-based logo. Nice. Optimizely agent is running and exposes an interface for the other two microservices to get feature flag data. If you watch the video on how to use Optimizely in a microservice environment, you'll know that these other two microservices can get the state of a feature flag by making a post request with the SDK key in a special header, the feature key as a part of a query parameter, and the user ID as the body of the request. Let's go to our microservices and implement these requests in both JavaScript and Python. Nice, the code for these samples look very similar, as they should because they're hitting the same Optimizely agent endpoint. But don't forget to provide your Optimizely SDK key. You can find the SDK key by going to the far left settings, going to environments, and in this video we'll use the production environment SDK key. Let's restart the servers and refresh our services, showing that the feature flag is now off. But if we go to our Hello World feature and enable it for our production environment for everyone, we can see in a minute that Optimizely Agent will get a notice in the console log when the feature flag has been updated, and we can refresh our microservices to see our feature flag on. There's the update, and we can go to our services and refresh them to see that the feature flag is now on. Now that the feature flag is on, we can just as easily go back to Optimizely's UI turn that feature flag off, save our change, and see the result in a minute without any additional code changes to our microservices. And that's it for the video. You've seen how to set up, run, and use Optimizely Agent to deploy feature flags in a microservice environment. I hope you learned something, and I'll see you next time. Thanks so much.